Welcome to this week's edition of The Lowdown presented by Lexa. Someone on this desk has been looking forward to this moment all weekend. Phil Neville making his debut, overexcited, watches it every week. Tim Howard, Rebecca Lowe with you as well. Five questions, 30 seconds to answer each one. Don't know what they are. Tim's got number one, you've got number two. Go. First question, Merseyside Derby. Yeah. Do you believe that Kanate should have been sent off for a second yellow card for pulling down Beto. Yeah, I think I think it's very obvious that he absolutely should when you considered what happened to Ashley Young mm -hmm. earlier on in the game with the two yellows, similar kinds of situations. But I think I said to you at the time in one of my questions I asked you, I just think it's... The referees have had such a difficult time of late. They cannot get every single thing right, even within one game. I know that's what Sean Dyche was so angry about, the lack of consistency. Well, it happened to him, so why didn't it happen to him? But... He's still a human being, yeah. and those kind of little mistakes in consistency, maybe he had a different angle on that to the other angles he had with Ashley Young. I just I just think we, we've got to let him off a little bit. They are, by the way, I don't ever stick to time. <laughs> no, I, was just yeah, I know, <laughs> a bit like you on, on Real TV. Um, I just think that you have to give them slight benefit of doubt every now and then. They're going to get make a mistake, and it's okay. We can't berate them every single week. So, yes, he should have done, but I'm not furious yeah. about it. Yeah. Philip. Rebecca, how are you? <laughs> Good. Uh, Man City won the treble last oh season. God. Yeah. Will winning the title this season be Pep's biggest challenge? Well, considering what you said yesterday about the, the, the season after you won the title, is that why you asked me the question? You just want me to drop in that you won the treble I mean, as well. we did. <laughs> in 1999. <laughs> you said that that next season was really, really hard. I, although you did actually end up going to, win to, to go on to win the title. I think... <sighs> Probably, yes. Probably, yes, it will be his biggest challenge. Although it's very difficult not to say that winning a treble is a bigger challenge. I mean, I, I think that's a bigger challenge to do that. Mm. Um, but winning a fourth in a row might be a step too far. Um, I'm, actually, I'm actually surprised he's still there. Mm. But just based on, if I'm winning a treble, I'm like, great job, awesome. I'm out of here, done, see you later. But I kind of love the way he keeps going. Question three, grab your table. Okay. Let's have a look. Probably more towards the bottom of the table is where you're going to look. Okay. Which manager's seat is the hottest right now? Ooh, it's a good question. Yeah. It's a good question. Tough question. I think, I think it should be Paul Heckingbottom because mm. I'm not sure, I'm not sure if he's got the gravitas slash experience for a Premier League job. I think though, just based on on the slightly odd decision making that we've seen come out of Bournemouth before, and O'Neill Ola. Also, mm. he doesn't come with a massive amount of. I don't know, not, people don't know a lot about him. And so I think it's an easier decision to make. I also think he, if he fires Gary O'Neill when they kept them up and he did a brilliant job, more than kept them up, he can easily fire Iriola, but which mm. will be kind of embarrassing Fair. all round. So I, th I think Iriola's in, in trubs. Last question. I think it's... From you. It's, you from probably you. need... From you. Yeah, last question okay. from me. Yeah. And you probably need more than 30 seconds. Give us your fondest memories of Sir Bobby Charlton. Oh, I thought you were going to ask me about, about your, my fondest memories of you this weekend. <laughs> um, Sir Bobby Charlton, for me, is a person who is a mainstay of English football. You're absolutely right. I do need more time. He is somebody who you see... When you think about English football, when you think about Old Trafford, when you think about the 66 World Cup and you think about Manchester United, you think about Sir Bobby Charlton. Somebody said it in the paper this morning, a little piece of England died when he died yesterday. And that, for me, is perfectly put. He was what we all hope to be as a person, let alone mm. the player, because I never saw him play, obviously. I've only seen snippets and it, it's mind-blowing. But as a human being, which of course is more important, he was... Special, legendary, iconic, and everything that's going to happen in the next week or two in Manchester and around England is just a little of what he deserves, for sure. Amazing. Amazing answer. Tim. Um, one of the reasons I respect you so much is because you always tell the truth, and I'm going to ask you to be incredibly truthful now. Okay. This is the question I thought I was about to have. I'm sure it is. Would you ever yeah. invite Phil Neville no. back into the studio? No. <laughs> Guys, this has been the longest weekend of my life. Never have I ever met somebody with more energy, more stories. Brilliant. Thank you. More, I mean, more, I don't know, Character, Tim, how, more everything, right? Yeah, but you used to, you used to Tim thing. and Robbie and Robbie, you know what I mean? I mean, bumps on a log. <laughs> where, where do I fit in? You know, you think you about don't. Dixon, LaSalle, <laughs> Musto, Earl. Um, where do you rank in, the, in, that, in that list? Um, we ran out of time. I'll tell we you next time. time. <laughs> That's the whistle. This time I am hitting my time. Can we have VAR? <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> don't forget the Premier League YouTube channel is where you can find absolutely everything the NBC Sports YouTube channel, Premier League update, the lowdown, the two Robbies, and the Premier League tactic session as well. This has been the lowdown presented by Lexus. Hi there, I'm Rebecca Lowe, studio host for NBC's coverage of the Premier League. Don't forget to hit subscribe to watch more videos all season long. And for even more Premier League content, from original series to live matches, head over to Peacock. And be sure to tune in for Premier League mornings every weekend on USA Network and on Peacock. We will see you there.